Welcome to session seven of Training 101. In this session, we're going to review the forehand and backhand topspin strokes we did in session six, but we're now also going to introduce you to another vital stroke in the game of table tennis, and that is the topspin off backspin. To get the most out of this session, make sure you watch two tutorials, the forehand topspin against backspin and the backhand topspin against backspin. The first drill is the bounce to topspin, just to get you used to that topspin stroke that we did in session six. So I'm bouncing the ball and Jeff's doing the forehand topspin. Just do a few bounces to each other, just so you get a feel of that topspin stroke. And then quickly, we're going to move in to the topspin against block. You don't need to spend too long on this. Just get the feel of the block and the topspin. Moving on to the backhand side, I'm going to bounce the ball for Jeff so he gets the feel of the stroke again. And then as soon as he's comfortable, we're going to move into the block against topspin. Now we're going to move into the topspin against backspin strokes. These strokes are really important because often in a rally, you'll start with a backspin ball, either with a serve or with a push. And now we need to learn how to convert that to a topspin so that we can gain the advantage and take the first attack in the rally. To help us to do the topspin against backspin, first we need to make sure that we're both able to push the ball effectively. So we're going to start by doing just some forehand pushes to each other and getting the feel of getting some backspin on the ball. This will provide us with the correct ball to learn how to do the topspin against backspin. Once we've got the feel of the push, now we're going to change. We're going to just do one push and then we're going to do a topspin stroke. So now we're going to do one push and then a topspin. Remembering with this stroke that you need to start nice and low and finish high to negate the backspin that's on the ball. Push and topspin. So just do one push, one topspin and catch the ball. And again, a push, and a topspin and catch the ball. So here, remember, we're just practicing the topspin against backspin. Now we can do the same thing with the backhand. So starting by doing just the backhand to backhand push, getting the feel of the push stroke again, making sure you're generating some backspin on the ball. Once you're comfortable with the push, then we're going to progress to the topspin against backspin. So I'm going to do one push, one topspin, and catch the ball. And again, one push, one topspin, and catch the ball. Make sure when you're doing this that you're focusing on the technique that you've seen in the two tutorials on the forehand and backhand topspin against backspin. Starting nice and low, finishing high, and getting a brushing contact to generate the topspin. Another great way to practice your topspin against backspin is using multi-ball. So with multi-ball, I'm feeding the ball out to Jeff with some backspin and he's practicing his topspin stroke. So with the feed, I'm just brushing underneath the ball, similar to how I would contact the ball on a push. This gives Jeff a lot of regular practice against the backspin and gives him lots of opportunity to practice the topspin against backspin. We have a course on multi-ball. It has a lot of benefits, so check out the course and see if you can learn how to feed multi-ball. It'll really help you with your training. Okay, games, Jeffrey. Awesome. So game today is, we're going to do the push and topspin game. So you, we're going to both push the ball anywhere on the table but as soon as one of us can make a topspin on the table, 
you win the point. Okay, what if I try and top spin and I miss it? Then I win the point. Ooh, okay, so mm, it's really tricky then because you, you don't want to just top spin any ball. You want to make sure you're in position, you're going to make it, otherwise you lose the point. So Correct. maybe maybe a good tactic is keep pushing until you're comfortable, but then your opponent might get in. But maybe if you make a hard push, oh, it's interesting. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Sydney. Yes. One nil to me. Love one. Yes. Love two. I'm going to have to rethink my tactics. Yes. Don't forget to test out their backhand side and particularly work out which is their weaker side and you're gonna concentrate more balls to that side. But don't tell Jeff. Thought I'd get in with the backhand. It's just too good. In this session, we've reviewed our topspin against block, and now we've introduced you to the topspin against backspin, another vital part of the game of table tennis.